Hey guys, it's Gray here, and um, today I have a tutorial, and it's something that uh, a lot of people have been asking me for, and it's not nothing with Cinema 4D, but um, since Christmas just passed, a lot of people got PVRs, and a PVR, for some of you guys that don't know, are uh, personal recorders, personal video recorders is what it stands for, it's high definition personal video recorder, and it's for uh, to recording your gameplay on your PS3 or your Xbox or whatever, but um... Yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys a render settings for those new people that have PVRs because um, obviously probably most of them uh, never knew how to use Sony Vegas or After Effects or don't know good render, render settings and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys my settings and let's just get started. I'm going to be showing you guys my PVR settings, my Sony Vegas render settings, and my After Effects render settings. So let's get started with the PVR render settings. Just open up Total Media Extreme, and when you get your PVR, you're gonna get a CD. You want to install that CD, and then you want to install Total Media Extreme. This is what you're gonna use to record your PVR or whatever. And then you go to record video and record video. Let that open up. And here you'll see your what your your PVR is hooked up to it's hooked up to my Xbox so this is what you'll be seeing alright so if you have an Xbox 360 I put it on Xbox 360 and it saves it as MP4 although I've heard some people that have Xbox 360 they use it, they uh, save it as PlayStation 3 and it's at M2TS uh, format but I don't see why they would do that but I just leave it Xbox 360 so then I save it to my uh, videos folder you could change that by clicking that and it would go to there alright so then once you have all this you want to make sure that the video input is YPRPV and then the audio is RCA black the PC audio is two channel stereo device settings these are what I do but you can mess with this it's kind of like color correction and stuff I guess whatever is pretty color correction but I just have this and yeah, I think this is default. I'm not sure. I remember I messed with this one time, but I'm not sure if I saved it. But yeah, and then the video decoder, you want it to be this. Alright, and then format settings. This is very important. I messed up and I left mine at like somewhere around here. And every time like I would move on in the game, like there would be a bunch of like lines going horizontal. So you want to make sure that this is all the way up at 13.5 at best, and then you want to use constant bitrate, and you want this by, uh, 3, this 3, 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second, and AC3, you want it to be 4-2 channel, use AC3 audio encoder, and then after that you want to click apply. And then you should make sure that right here it says current encoding bitrate is 13.5, and the input resolution is 1280 by 720. Alright, another thing that's very important is you're going to want to go to your um, Xbox settings and you're going to want to make sure the system settings is at 720p and not at 1080p. When you have it at 1080p, for some reason, the PVR, like, when you record it, it skips and it becomes laggy and stuff. Uh, I have no idea why. It's probably just me. I don't know, but two of my friends that have PVR say the same thing that it's best to use it at 720p but yeah so let's just close this sometimes my PVR lags oh it didn't lag and then you want to open up so now we're going to be going to the Sony Vegas render settings and I'll show you guys my render settings and for me I find WMV is the best format to render and once again maybe these aren't the best but these are just my settings I don't know what this is, but I'm put this in. Let's crop this, and if you want to crop something like, let's delete this. This is just loading, it's building the audio peaks and stuff. But um, if you want to crop something in Sony Vegas, this is how you do it. I'll show you once this loading is done. All right, you're gonna want to. Um, let's say you just want from right here to right here. So you just put this arrow, you just click it wherever you want it, and then you click 
S on your keyboard and then you move to wherever else you want it and you click S again and then you just delete these two right click delete right click delete let's just zoom in here alright but um let's see something and something else you want to do is when you get your PBR you're gonna see that you have these black lines you can pull this down you're gonna get these black lines so you want to make sure you crop that and by cropping it you just go to event pan and crop and just drag this down a little bit like that and then you want to rename it like HD PVR and then click this and you're gonna save it but I already have a preset so I just use that mm, yeah that's about it and some people that have a Sony Vegas 10 like I was helping out my friend he had Sony Vegas 10 I think you're gonna want to mess with your settings first your property settings and uh, we couldn't find his his was like this one but you wanna click it and make sure you open up something that looks like this so you want it the width to be 1280 by 720 and then the field order lower field first and then pixel aspect ratio square frame rate 59.940 because that's what your PVR is pixel format 8-bit full resolution at best and then motion blur type Gaussian asymmetric de interlace method none and then you want to click start all new projects with these settings click apply and then ok and then you want to crop it and because some of you people would have black bars up here right but you gotta make sure that this is at 1280 by 720 and when you click start all new projects and you click apply you, you don't you shouldn't have to go every time and change this but in case you open up Sony Vegas like the next day or something and you have those black bars you want to make sure it, you mess with this and make sure it's 1280 by 720 and don't co don't go and trying to crop the bar by going like this or something and trying to get rid of those black bars because then you would get this and it would just look terrible but um, let's just put that back <laughs> alright and then the color correction I'm not going to show you guys color correction but this is something I do a lot and yes I learned this from operator Perry but you just go to color correction click this thing right here you go to color corrector here I'll just delete this and I'll show you guys once again you click this go to color Sony color corrector make sure it's not secondary just color corrector you click it it's up here and you click OK and then you just want to drop down this arrow and go to studio RGB to computer RGB and I'm not sure if you could tell the difference but it kinda gets rid of this hazy thing right here and it just makes your PBR look a lot clearer and if you want well wrong thing this is the difference you can't really tell the difference you can't see it but this side is without it and this side is with it Let's try to get a better you can kind of see it right here you can kind of see it right here but unless you could probably only see it if you're at 720p and full screen but um there's Alex but uh I just appear busy because he's gonna keep spamming me because he loves me. I love him too. All right, but once you have that, you're gonna want to go to your render settings, render as, and then you want to make sure it's Windows Media Video uh, V11. Then it's WMV. Click that and then click Custom, and then it'll bring this up. And then you're gonna want to name the template and just name it 720p. And then the mode is gonna be CVR format 9.2 um, attributes 192 kbps 48 khc stereo av cbr then video cb mode the mode's going to be cbr format windows media video 9 image size custom because it's 1280 by 720 pixel aspect ratio square and then frame rate 59.94 second per keyframe 5 and then video smoothness is going to be default at like 90 you're going to want to make sure you put that at sharpest all the way up to 100 bit rate you want to make sure this is ticked and this is 4.80 m mine was uh, l i think or k it had k or l and i kept getting something weird i don't remember what it was but you want to make sure this is at m and then index summary there's nothing there and then project just make sure it's at best and then you want to make sure you rename it and click save so then you save a preset 
and just click OK and then every time you should just go to Windows Media and then you have it right here and there it is and that's your render settings for that and then you just want to render it whatever alright now let's go into After Effects this video is going to be a little bit long but I'll put annotations in the video if you want to just skip ahead on stuff alright let's just let this open open hold on let me turn off my xbox all right okay i have no idea why this is taking so long you guys might just want to skip in the video all right but here we go it's still loading for some reason all right there we go something should pop up asking if you want a new composition all right you want to go to new composition and you want to change this to however long you want this is seconds this so first is hours minutes seconds and nanoseconds so let's just say you want it 30 seconds click OK and you want to go to file import let's import a file let's just go to my videos crop clips let's just Put this or whatever. Put that in. And you have your clip already in or whatever. And um, my render settings for this when you want to render in After Effects, you just want to make sure it's highlighted by clicking Comp 1. And then you want to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and then Output Mode. I named mine Maniac Settings because my friend Maniac gave me the settings. And these settings are .mp4 or H.264, which is the same thing, and here it is. Format, I mean format options. You want to go to preset custom, set frame size to 1280 by 720, and then export the video. Make sure these are checked, and then here it is. All right, you want to make sure the frame rate is at 59.94. Once again, pixel aspect ratio square pixels, profile high, level 5.0. Bit rating it's VBR six and nine and uh, audio audio codec AAC output channel stereo forty eight KHZ um, audio quality high bit rate one nine two multiplexer MP four standard others there's nothing here okay and um, hmm. There was something here that I think you couldn't put square pixels or something if it wouldn't let you put square pixels or it wouldn't let you put the profile high. You have to make sure this is at 5. Let me check. I don't remember what it was, but there was something that it wouldn't let you do. Could be in advanced settings. No. There was something. I remember when I was putting my settings, it wouldn't let me do something. I think it would have let me change the frame rate. Let's see. I don't remember what it was but yeah you just want to make sure you have these settings if it doesn't let you do something just move on and then try it again it will let you do it but yeah that's basically that and then just click OK make sure the audio output is 48.00 16-bit stereo for and then just click OK and then you want to rename it whatever test click save and just render it and it would start rendering and I found out that if you click your cap lock, it will stop the previewing, and the render goes a little bit faster. Not nothing major, but it just goes a little bit faster, especially if you have like not a good computer because doing this will just make your computer uh, whatever's like lag more. But hopefully you enjoy this tutorial on all three things. And people have been asking me since it's been Christmas, and they just got a PBR and they don't know what it is so they've been looking for three different videos but here I just made all of it into one so hopefully you guys like it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and um, yeah I'm posting this on uh, New Year's Eve so hopefully you guys have a new uh, great New Year's spend it with your family and your loved ones and everyone you guys love
Hopefully you guys have a safe one too. And I'm out, so that's basically it. Bye, guys.